Hey guys, how you doing? Today I'm going to be changing oil on my Lexus ES 350 and it comes with the infamous Toyota V6 that you get in a lot of their cars. So this job is pretty much across the board for RAV4s, Camrys, the ES. I'm not sure for other cars but these are the things that you're going to be using for this job, okay? Well, let's start with the oil. I usually use um, Liquid Molly. I love this oil. This is really good stuff. I am using some Ceratec. This is pretty good stuff. I put it in like every other oil change. I use the OEM filters on, on my cars. Okay, so you can see the part number there. Let's zoom, zoom it. All right, now on the, this car, you have a specific style oil filter housing. We'll get to that in a little bit and I'll show you. The reason why I'm using this as well is because this is a half inch drive that goes into this, this right here. You see it snaps on and that's what I use to like un undo the whole filter. There's another procedure that I see people do but I think this is the fastest way to get it off. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And you'll need a 14 mil. Oh yeah, not to forget, you're gonna need something to drain your oil in. Be responsible, dispose of your oil in a safe and environmental way. Okay, you don't wanna get Captain Planet all mad at you, all right? All right, now we're under here. This is the filter hosing that I was talking about and here's your drain plug right here lefty loosey righty tighty oh, that shouldn't be on it that tight okay there she blows I remove this whole washer from off of this thing Washer could still be reused, but I like using a brand new one. Alright. That's about good. Alright. Now it's time to remove the filter housing. Now you have some notches in here, you just gotta line it up with the notch, notches on top of the um, the filter housing here. I don't separate the two of them, I just take the whole thing out like this. I just remove the whole thing like this. Stay on here because it's gonna splash. So you know, let it drain out a bit. Just pull the filter out of the... See, this is what the whole housing looks like. Now you, when you look inside of the box, you'll see two washers. One is right here, and the other one is for this piece. This piece up at the top over here. Right here, this one. All right, so let's take them off. I got everything here. I'm gonna take take the filter out of the housing, so it looks in there. That little plastic piece you see when you take the bottom here off. This is three quarter, three quarter here. Off camera, I had to like go get a tool to get this thing off because I couldn't get this cover off. This was like screwed in there like really 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 tight this thing if it's not leaking it's like one of those things if it's not broken don't fix it but in my case I just I just want to make sure it's done you know because you don't know how old these seals are I mean I pull it out now it's I can feel it it still has a lot of life in it it's still very soft so you know it's still good but you don't know what you're gonna get when you get under here and these are the gaskets these um, o-rings right here. Clean this up a little bit. 
All right. Now here's the new filter right here. Put that on. And it's this the same tool right here to remove this gasket, this O-ring. Make sure you, when you put this thing back on, make sure you put it back into the into the groove that it came out of, huh? You do not want that thing like to go anywhere else. All right, that's on. This goes into the bottom here. Press it in, make sure it's nice and flat. And now you're gonna put put the cover back on. But like I said earlier, you know, I don't really use that little plastic piece that they have there. I mean, that's what they want you to do. They want you to, as a matter of fact, let me see if I can go grab it. Okay, this little plastic piece, what they want you to do, like say the car is up, up there, they take this little plastic piece and you, you stick it in there. I never used it, but you can feel the spring inside pushing up. Right, so that's how it goes. And then the oil starts running out from that. I literally had to use a vice grip to get that thing out. That's why, you see, I don't use it. And we're gonna cover this back down. Don't know why Toyota just didn't do it like the way how the Germans do it. This is, this is to keep you from working on it yourself. That's it. We got our Ceratec here. Make sure you shake this stuff up. Got a little logo here to tell you when, when you put it in there. All right, remove that. Clean around the area. Put your oil fill. Dipstick out. Make sure it's clean so I can get an accurate reading. Just set it, set it right across there. All right, the well, Ceratec is already shaken up. that orange tinge to it. Usually I pour it over instead of this. Cover it up. And give it a good shake. Let it mix all in there. And then no. Uh, when you see your oil looking like this color, a lot of times, you know, it's it's really bad. Something bad in your engine. Usually, you have like a blown head gasket or something like that. Now, mind you, I'm not I'm not gonna fill it all the way up until the car is on a level. On the, on the floor, but right now it's on the ramps. It's not on the stick yet. 